You ready? You ready? You ready? We're taking the derivative of a product. Oh, boy. I wish I had a way to take the derivative of a product. If I did, what would I call it? The product rule. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. So what first must we do? We need to identify our two functions. Dun, dun, dun. What's my g of x going to be? Ah, what's my f of x going to be? What's my first function? Okay. So we'll do that. We'll let f equal x cubed plus 2x. De facto, g, that's going to be e to the x. So we're doing the derivative of the first times the second. So then y prime here, y prime, that's going to be the derivative of the first with respect to x of x to the third plus 2x. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Just squeaked it in there. Now let's actually do the derivatives. I just wrote out that dip operator notation. Yeah, that says take the derivative of that guy, and we do that now. What's the derivative of x to the third plus 2x? 3x squared plus 3 squared. Yeah, I wish they all could be polynomial. So we take that, we rewind it back, and then we're going to multiply that by... That e to the x. Oh, you fancy, huh? What's the derivative of e to the x? E to the x. Yeah, sure. It is e to the x. We're actually taking those derivatives now. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that down here. x to the third plus 2x. Why didn't we do anything with the x to the third plus 2x? Because we're using the product rule. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Sure. Now let's do some fancy factoring. I see that I have things in common. Some of you guys are like, couldn't I have distributed in that e to the x first and then take the derivative term by term? Yeah, absolutely. That would have worked. It probably would have even been quicker, but we're in the product rule section, so we should probably try using the product rule. And here we go. Some fancy factoring. I see I got my e to the x there, and my e to the x there, and I'm going to go and I'm going to pull my e to the x out there. Sure. And we do that over here. Boom. So e to the x comes out. And then left on the inside... We're going to have this piece and this piece. So we pull our pieces. It looks like x to the third plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. That's x to the third plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. Now we take a quick check, see if we can factor that thing. I'm not seeing it. You seeing it? I guess we could try by division. Uh, 1, 3, 2, 2. What am I doing? I'm trying to factor by division, so I'm using 1. Oh, I probably want to use minus 1. That's 1, minus 1, minus 2. 
two, four, didn't work. One, one, four. That's not gonna work. Let's try two. Minus one. Minus two. One. Minus two. Zero. Nope, not gonna work. So it doesn't factor. We've exhausted all the possibilities of our factoring process because those were all the factors of two, plus and minus two, and then there's ones that were <laughs> Box and flower.